Hello friends, so today in this video we are going to talk about methods for determining the velocity of a point on a link. It is very important for gate exam as well. Okay, so many questions have been asked from this topic. Basically, there are two methods for finding velocity. One first one is instantaneous center method. Instantaneous center method. And the second one is relative velocity method. Relative velocity method. Both of them are very useful method, but uh, this one is for the simple one and this is for the complex types. Okay, if there is any 2D motion, then we could easily find out the uh, find out the velocity of any point. Uh, and uh, this one relative velocity method is used for the complex things. Okay, uh, but I like this one second one because uh, if you learn this relative velocity method, then you can easily solve any question, any question of uh, any question related to the velocity. Uh, of a point data for determining the velocity of a point okay so but uh, for the gate point of view uh, first method is important uh, because it doesn't require any scale or uh, pencil uh, or other things but uh, in this method relative vel velocity method you require a geometry box and uh, you have to draw the diagrams and then we could find out the velocities so in this video we will discuss about instantaneous center method okay instantaneous center method so as we have discussed that uh, instantaneous center method is convenient and easy to apply in the same simple mecha uh, mechanisms okay but whereas relative me velocity method is a uh, little bit tough because we need to di uh, draw a conf configuration diagram for that okay so what is the concept behind the instantaneous center method so concept behind it is concept behind i center method is that any displacement of body displacement of body having motion in one plane plane can be considered as a pure rotational motion can be considered as pure rotational motion okay so so what we do in this that uh, the end displacement of body and displacement in the mechanism is uh, if there is any displacement of body in one single plane then we'll consider it as a pure rotational motion okay pure rotational motion of the rigid links of which uh, there is a i center uh, over which we'll concentrate all these uh, motions okay and this center this i center is called uh, instantaneous, instantaneous center or the virtual center of rotation we'll understand this using a graph okay uh, sorry using a diagram and this will be very easy for you okay so consider some object okay in which there are two rigid points a and b okay rigid link sorry rigid link a and b now uh, suppose in the velocity of a is va and b is somewhere in this direction okay so suppose this is vb this is at some angle alpha from the point of contact between them so this is alpha and this will be at angle sum beta so this would be va cos alpha and this one would be vb cos beta now how we can find out the i center for that okay so we have first we have to draw its perpendicular uh, a line perpendicular to the velocities vb and va so let us draw a perpendicular and same per perpendicular from the point a okay you can either draw in this direction as well but uh, it will not coincide so i know that it will coincide over here okay intersect over here so i'll draw in this direction either you can draw it in this direction as well and this is in this in in another direction as well but they will not intersect at each other so this is the point over which they intersect and this center is called i center okay 
is sent in a center now suppose that we know the value of va and its direction as well okay and uh, we don't know uh, the the direction for uh, vb okay and but we know its uh, uh, magnitude so we have the magnitude of va but we don't know the direction then we could find out its direction or its uh, magnitude as well if any one of the in any one of these is missing using this equation using this uh, method sorry okay now what we have written in this uh, line that uh, i center method uh, is there is an displacement of a body having in motion in one plane then it could be considered as a rotational motion at one point so this is a rigid link okay this is a rigid link and it is rotating about point i so this is the uh, concept for i center method so i have missed something over here uh, i didn't write it uh, it is for the rigid okay for a rigid link you need to write it down so suppose in this uh, uh, configuration vb is missing okay the magnitude of vb is missing so we have to find out the magnitude of vp so for that uh, we have to uh, do some calculations okay uh, there is some uh, there is a method for this uh, the derivation so we will derive it first and then we'll file down wh uh, what is the value of vb so let's move on here from uh, here from the diagram we can see that the relative motion in between a and b is uh, zero okay because they both of uh, both of them lie on the same uh, rigid link so there will be no relative motion okay now now as we have resolved these uh, v va and vb va and vb in the in the same direction so what it would be it would be va cos alpha minus vb cos beta equal to zero so it would be va cos alpha equal to vb cos beta v upon vb equal to cos beta upon cos alpha so we have obtained something now uh, what we could write it down uh, cos beta as cos beta is equal to sin 90 minus beta okay and similarly for the cos alpha sin 90 minus alpha you could understand it very easily in this diagram as well if you want to okay so so this angle will be 90 minus beta and this angle will be 90 minus alpha uh, i'll make you understand this one uh, suppose this is uh, as it is given as angle beta so this would be also beta vertically opposite angle and this comprises 90 degrees so it would be 90 minus beta similarly in this uh, it is uh, very easy to see uh, 90 complete 90 so it would be uh, 90 minus alpha now we could write it va upon vb as cos beta upon cos alpha equal to sine 90 minus beta upon 90 minus alpha okay so this is equation one now we could obtain an other equation from the lamis theorem or lamis theorem what do you say from Lamis theorem applying Lamis theorem in, in triangle A B I okay in this triangle we will apply a Lamis theorem okay and then what we will obtain uh, um, it will be A I upon sine 90 minus beta so A I upon sine 90 minus beta equal to uh, bi upon sin 90 minus alpha bi upon sin 90 minus alpha okay so this is the equation we have obtained so we could shuffle it okay so ai upon bi is equal to sin 90 minus beta upon sin 90 minus alpha and from the above equation we could obtain it uh, vb upon v upon vb sorry so it would be v a upon vb so ai upon bi is equal to v a upon vb we could uh, arrange it uh, in the desired manner so v a upon ai is equal to vb upon bi okay so this is it that we have obtained and we know v is equal to r omega so here it would be equal to omega okay as there is, this is the radius for the links and uh, 
if there is any any other points point c say there is any other, any other point c then what would be the equation then the equation will be ba upon ai is equal to vb upon bi is equal to vc upon ci so this would be equation if uh, there is any one of them is missing then we could easily find it out suppose in this equation we have to find out the well, uh, magnitude of vb so we could easily find it out as vb would be equal to uh, we have to just put the values of VA, AI and BI, we will find out the VB, okay. And in, and in the next video, we will discuss about the number of eye centers in a mechanism and types of eye centers and uh, location of instantaneous centers. So stay tuned. Thank you for watching. So this is it. Thank you for watching. If you, if you find this video helpful, then please give a thumbs up and do like, share and comment. If you want to subscribe, then you can. Thank you for watching.